Hey everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and HockeyShot.com. And in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about how to execute a proper saucer pass and then show you some ways that you can work on your saucer pass at home, away from the rink, using some of the equipment that's available at HockeyShot.com. In this video, I've got my, uh, my little boy Tyler. He's going to be helping me out. He just turned five and he's actually starting to get the hang of the saucer pass pretty well. So I figured I'd use him as my partner to uh, help demonstrate some of these saucer passes for you. So there are two types of saucer passes you'll probably end up using in a game. The first one's your long distance saucer pass, and uh, that one's pretty easy to execute. If you can do a good wrist shot or a good snapshot, you can generally execute a pretty good long distance saucer pass. The idea is you get the puck up, stays flat in the air, goes over your defender or over, over your opponent's stick or your opponent's body, and then lands, hits the ice flat, sticks, and uh, is easily retrievable from your partner. So that's a long distance. Those are really easy to practice. Go out, find a parking lot, get a green biscuit, get a buddy, and uh, just fire some sauce back and forth each other. Um, the one that we're going to be talking about a little bit more in this video is the short distance finesse saucer pass. And those are a lot more difficult because you've got a confined space that you're working with. So you need to get, be able to get the puck up and over your opponent quickly, but then at the same time come right back down, land, hit flat, and hopefully be retrievable uh, from your partner. So it's a little bit more difficult. There's a few techniques, a few tricks that I've used over the years that I, I feel like work pretty well for me. And so I wanted to show you those in this video and then uh, show you a little bit my setup, how I'm working on this and uh, you know what equipment I'm using to work on my saucer pass from home. Okay, so here's what our setup looks like. Um, as you can see, we've got Tyler standing on the dryline flooring tiles and uh, this is a 48 tile setup. So you can see about how big that is. Pretty good size setup. Uh, for saucer passes, I wanted a little bit more space, so I actually slid them down, and uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be passing off the roll up, roll up shooting pad, and then Tyler will be receiving on the dryland flooring tiles. We've got a set of sweet hands here that will be our obstacle, so we're going to be saucing it up and over the sweet hands. And um, the cool thing about the sweet hands, you can adjust this. So if you want to, uh, you know, simulate your your defender being a little bit closer to you, you can just slide these closer to you. So pretty easy. Um, you know, you can do this, you know, use the sweet hands, um, use a stick. You can use a lot of different stuff um, to simulate an obstacle there. So that's the setup that we've got. Okay, there are a couple key tips that you're going to want to remember when you're executing a finesse saucer pass or short distance saucer pass. First thing you're going to want to do is open the blade of your stick. Now you got to be careful about this because if you go from here and then open the stick, it changes the angle that you're going to be shooting at. So the second thing is you're probably going to need to move the puck a little bit further out in front of you so that when you open that stick blade, it's still going to keep your target going straight forward or to the direction that you're looking to go. So that's the first thing. Next, you're going to start with the puck on the heel of your stick. So you're going to start it back here and then as you're shooting through, you're actually going to pull the stick blade back. So as you can see, it's spinning the puck. That's going to set up that nice little sauce that's going to spin the puck and keep it flat in the air and then help it land and stick on the other side of your target. So as you're, as you're shooting, as you're passing, you're rotating the puck from the heel of your stick to the toe and then as it comes off your stick, comes up in the air, spins while it's in the air, and then lands and sticks flat. So here's what it'll look like in full speed. Okay? Alright, let's show you what this might look like in action. Nice. Good. Another thing you want to do is adjust where your obstacle is. So sometimes have it further away, sometimes have it closer. That just makes it so you need to adjust how quickly you get the puck up and over it. Okay, so we've moved it closer and uh, we're going to have to get the puck up a little quicker now and hopefully keep it flat, let it land flat and uh, Tyler will pick it up on the other side. Okay, just fire it back. Don't worry about sauce. That was a skipper. Okay, one more time. So you can see, you got to get it up a little quicker and then hopefully land it, land it flat. I told Tyler not to worry about saucing it back. I'm trying not to hit the camera here too. So let's do one more time, okay? Stick down, ready for the pass, okay? A little sauce up and over, land it. So that's your finesse sauce there. Another way you can work on your finesse sauce, especially if you don't have a partner, is just use your shooter tutor, or in this case, we've got the ultimate goalie, hockey targeting system. And uh, the basic concept is you've got your five holes. This is usually a shooting aid, but in this case, we're going to go closer in, and what we're going to do is just try to sauce it right through the five hole and get as accurate as possible. Short distance, um, just get that sauce right through that five hole and uh, be as accurate as possible. Ah, 
Aha, missed the last, oh, went up and over. So that's the idea though. Um, nice short distance, just finesse sauce right through that five hole. So there's a few tips that will hopefully help you with your saucer pass. You can pick up all of this equipment at HockeyShot.com and make sure you visit us at WeissTechHockey.com for more drills, skills and other ways that you can improve your game.